if you're a male and you're like, what the hell, there's no good females out there to date. These are all trash options. What do I do? I was talking to my boyfriend the other day and he was telling me that he had such a hard time finding a girlfriend before he met me. And this is why. Tell me if you agree. So he would walk up to a lot of different females. That's basically what he did to me. That's how he found me. Okay. And when he walked up to these, these females, he would say, hi, just like that. And when I started a conversation, he said, so many people would just look him in the eyes and either just walk away, like straight up, look at him and just leave. Or they would give him like the biggest resting bitch face and then be such a bitch to him that it's like, why would you even want to have a conversation? It's like you're talking to a wall or someone that like wants to stab you in the face. Yep. And men are sick of it. You can only put up with being treated like you are subhuman for so long before you are just done. You quit. And that is what men are doing en masse. Statistics show that 48 to 59% of single men between the ages of 18 and 40 have never asked a woman out on a date in the past year. So I actually want to start out this video with an apology from me to my audience, because there is something that I have consistently gotten wrong over the years. I feel shitty about it. And I want to admit to you guys when I make a mistake, own up to it, say that I'm sorry. And I really mean this. I have rationalized and excused women's rudeness when men approach them for far too long. I focused on the man, I focused on game and how men can overcome that resistance instead of analyzing that resistance itself and holding women accountable. Let me explain to you why I made this mistake. Understand, I came of age in the 2000s, and so I have never known what it's like to live in a culture where women do show respect for men. Whenever I saw a man approach a woman to try and talk with her, I routinely saw women laugh, ignore him, insult him, or just spend the interaction being rude to the man as a way of shit testing him. I thought that that was normal. I didn't really understand how truly fucked up that behavior was because it's all I had grown up seeing. Like a fish doesn't really know what water is because he's spent his entire life just swimming in it. I thought that shit tests and rude behavior were normal and that it was perfectly natural for women to treat men badly. To say rude things to him just to test him out to see if he's confident enough to push through that resistance. In fact, one of the first videos that I ever released on this channel back in 2017 was me at the beach going up to women and asking them about this phenomenon of shit tests. Have you ever given a man a shit test before? Probably. Every time. <laughs> I think I give men shit tests every day of my life. See, I knew that this was real. I saw how rude women were when I was younger, but I never stopped to ask the big questions like, is it okay to treat men like this? Why do women feel so entitled to be so righteously rude and dismissive? I was young, I was horny, and my mind just didn't think in terms of those big questions yet. I wasn't philosophical, I was just practical. Women are rude when you try and talk to them. Okay, that seems to be just a fact of reality. My only thought was, well, how do I overcome that. Like if this is a game, what do I need to do to win? I was very ambitious and when I discovered the seduction community with like pickup artist techniques, learning about game with detailed instructions on how to pass shit tests, frame control, teasing, flirting, I thought great, okay that's what you do. So I learned it, I applied it, I got very good at it and my dating life took off. But I can see now that that's actually been my blind spot and that's the reason why I'm apologizing. Because I couldn't see past my own experience. My focus had been exclusively on how to pass shit tests. My focus was not on whether or not this behavior from women was actually appropriate. Now, longtime subscribers of this channel know that this issue has come up lots of times before, probably in four or five different videos. You guys have roasted me in the comment section, which I deserved, but even getting that feedback, I couldn't see it. I didn't understand why men were frustrated with me. Like I was sincerely trying to help. I was explaining the psychology of why women are rude to men, the evolutionary basis, what purpose they're serving, what they're looking for in men. And then I was giving instructions on how to successfully move past that rudeness. But then there'd be a bunch of guys in the comments saying, why should I have to put up with this in the first place? Why is it okay for women to be rude to me? But I just kept focusing on the practical. And sadly, all of my explanations for female behavior, it just sounded like justifications, excuses for women.
women's disrespect. All of my advice on how to overcome this, it had the effect of making men feel like I was just ignoring how outright unpleasant this is to deal with. Placing the responsibility on men once again to do the work. Doesn't matter how rude women are, how ridiculous their standards, how entitled their personalities, men, it's on you to find a way to suck it up, to figure it out. Guys, can you ask us out in person? No more DMs, oh none God, of that. No Girls love to get asked out in person. It doesn't happen anymore. Please come up to us. We're nice. The worst we're going to say is no. A few moments later. Like a lot of world problems would be solved if men just like... Cease to exist? Yeah. I know that some of my past videos on this topic have really pissed off some guys. All I can say is that I was sincere. And I'm sorry, I did not see it. That's how it is with bias and with blind spots. You don't know what you don't know. But let me tell you now that I can see it. I see it very clearly. This dating market is fucked up. At its core, the whole thing is fucked. We have allowed our culture to degenerate to the point where women feel like it is okay to treat men with disrespect, to be rude, to be insulting. A kind, polite man says hello to you, he's being friendly. It's fine to just ignore him or just be bitchy for the entire conversation. No manners, no etiquette, no respect, no affirming of his right to dignity. That's fucked up. It shouldn't be this way and it doesn't have to be. Yes, you can look smacks like crazy. You can learn game. You can become the perfect seduction guy who knows every little trick. Perfect frame control, the ability to successfully navigate through all her blockades. And then maybe you might be lucky enough to find your way into a conversation where she is being friendly to you. But that is a ridiculous standard to hold men to? Why isn't being kind enough? Why isn't being friendly and respectful enough? I can imagine an alternative timeline where boys and girls were all raised in healthy families. We live in close communities and everybody has positive self-esteem. Where once you become a man, if you approach a woman at an event, have a conversation with her, maybe ask her to dance, even if it does not work out between the two of you, there is no attraction. At all times, the woman is kind and friendly to you. She does not start off from a baseline hatred of men, distrust, suspicion. She takes no pleasure in rejecting men. In this alternative timeline, all women are polite, kind, respectful, friendly. Women value men and men value women. Men do not view women just as a means to have sex. Hookup culture is not a thing. Dating is much more straightforward because the purpose is clear. The goal is for everybody to partner up. Dating is not for people to get ego boosts. It's not for distracting people from their boredom. Dating is not used for free dinners or to masturbate using another person's body. In this timeline, dating is simple, uncomplicated, wholesome. Men don't need to put on an act. They can be themselves. They can be nice to women and feel confident that women are not going to interpret that niceness as weakness. Men can relax knowing that women in this timeline do not take pleasure in humiliating men. I know there's a saying that that it's a numbers game, but there's also a saying that says stay in your lane. And I just feel like some of the creatures that come up to me with the confidence they have, I mean, a man really came up to me at the gas station and said, you caught my eye. How about we close them? Keep them, keep them sealed tight. Shut, actually. Because I'm not, I'm here to fill up my gas. Dating should not be like this. It just shouldn't. How things are right now, how men are treated by women, it's fucked up. There are a bunch of guys out there who are struggling and it's not their fault. The game was massively rigged against them. And for so long, I could not see it because when it came to the topic of shit tests and women being rude to men, I was too busy focused on how to overcome that. Thinking of practical strategies to beat the game. And I forgot to stop and take notice of just how fucked up the game is that we are all playing. Toxic or boring relationship? Toxic. Toxic. Oh, toxic. No. It just makes it more fun. It just makes it more fun. It's more fun. In this culture, we have women consciously choosing to be with bad men, which of course has the predictable consequence after you are treated badly of turning you bitter. Then when a regular nice man approaches them, from that bitterness, they feel entitled to be rude and suspicious. That situation is fucking ridiculous. And yes, I put the blame on women. Ladies, nobody is forcing you to date toxic men. Your bitter attitude is your own 
fault. Now you might say, well, that's unfair. What about the toxic man? What about his responsibility? If he didn't treat her badly, then none of this would be a problem. No, you still don't get it. If he didn't treat her badly, then she wouldn't be interested. These women are specifically attracted to toxic men. That's the point. I know from my own life during my teenage years, I was my authentic nice guy self and I had moderate success. But when I learned game and I started teasing women, not texting back, seeing multiple girls at the same time, leaning into my cockiness, guess what? When I did that, my options exploded. My guess is that for all of the genuine bad boys out there, there's just as many men who would have been nice guys if they had been sexually rewarded for doing so. But they listened to women's actions, not their words. And you can hardly blame them. Why should any man be single and lonely, martyrs to the nice guy cause? Nope. Men are always going to act the way that women find sexually desirable. Toxic men, bad boys, women, do not complain about them. They are your own creation. For every woman out there who is rude to nice men while sexually rewarding bad boy jerks, this is your fault. You need to fix this. And once again, I am so sorry for my earlier videos which had the indirect effect of shaming men, telling them that it's their responsibility to do this or that, to try and overcome all of this rudeness from women. I was trapped by the limitation of my own experiences. I can see that now. But it's obvious to me now that the expectation that men have some kind of obligation to overcome these ridiculous hurdles is in and of itself sexist. That women are allowed and encouraged to display this kind of behavior towards men is sexist. It is not your fault that you were born a man and into a culture that devalues and dehumanizes you to this degree. And I don't think that you should feel ashamed of yourself because you don't have the stomach to tolerate this kind of disrespect. I used to think that men who did not learn game or seduction techniques were cowards. And maybe that's true in some cases. But now I see it more like maybe those guys have some self-esteem. They respect themselves too much to participate in such a degrading activity, having to pass shit tests. As you can see, my thoughts are always evolving. I've been thinking about this a lot and the fact that those old videos are still sitting there that really bothers me. They don't really reflect my current thoughts. And so I wanted to do like a type of update. So what about your old videos, Alexander? The ones where you give instructions on how to pass shit tests. How do you feel about them now? Well, the information is still good if that's your goal, if you want to learn how to overcome these things. I still think it's worth understanding female psychology and probably worth having the techniques to be able to get past that resistance. So I'm gonna keep the videos there because I still think that the information is valuable. It was just incomplete. And so what is the balance between valuing your yourself and understanding the truth about the culture we live in and practically making some sacrifices, swallowing your pride a little bit so that you can learn to play the game, suffer a bit of short-term humiliation for a long-term benefit. I want to discuss how to balance these two things in the rest of this video, which is going to be available on Patreon. I feel like I have covered most of the important points, but there is still a few things for me to go over for men who are particularly interested in the nuance of what to do with this information, how to balance it inside your own psyche. So the video is not over. If you want to keep watching, come on over to Patreon. What I post here on YouTube, these are just the shortened, abridged versions of my videos. The full-length versions are available on Patreon.